Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a compound bar chart using R um, and specifically actually I will be later on using the ggplot2 package for this. Um, to show how this works I need some da a data file which in my case is actually an SPSS file so I need a foreign package uh, so I'll enter that one in and then create and get actually some data. Um, I'll show you the data, it's 55 observations of 65 variables and in this case I'm going to use the location uh, versus one of the fully agree disagree uh, variables. Now to create the table I'm going to be using the motivate versus location and first I create a cross table of that then I convert that cross table into a proportional table so that it actually has uh, percentages and I can actually show you that so I now have all the percentages for each column and they should actually each add up to a hundred percent. Now I can immediately create a compound bar chart from this by using the bar plot uh, of this second table and as you can see I now have a nice overview. Um, the one problem here is I can actually also change the, the labels a little bit and perhaps add actually some color in there and it looks pretty nice but I don't know which option actually stands for what so I might want to add in a legend and this is where things become tricky because in my case this legend actually overlays uh, the entire plot so I could I could actually then rerun the other one so now since I know that the top one is fully agree um, and there are ways to actually work around this and plot it outside but it's in I found it at all a bit tricky, so I'd rather use the ggplot2 package. Um, in order to use this, I do need to convert my table that I just created into a data uh, frame. So I'll be using this line for that. And this actually contains the exact same information, but it's now a data frame. And um, if you look at that data frame, uh, my data2, uh, you notice the row names have changed and they are now actually the different ratings that were given. What I want is to store these ratings as a separate variable so I'll use uh, a new variable rating and that's simply going to be uh, the row names. So now this got added so when I show you again you now see that the rating is actually added in here. Then I need the reshape2 package uh, because I want to convert it to a long format. I already installed it so I only need to load it, the library version. And then I can actually convert it to long using the melt uh, command of my data2. The ID variable is that rating and the value name in this case are proportions because I'm going to show proportions. I'll show you what my data long looks like. So for each possible rating, uh, for each possible location, I now have the corresponding uh, proportion next to it. One thing though is that the names, uh, that second column uh, was now turned into variable and it was actually location. So I'm gonna be entering that one again. So now hopefully it nicely has rating, location and proportion. And finally we can actually get to the plot. I need to load the ggplot2 uh, library. If you don't have that one you also need to install it first. And then you can use the following line ggplot and then a geometric bar AES and the Y is going to be the proportions. X is going to be my location. The fill is going to be the rating and my data file is of course my data long. Then if I run this one I finally get a nice looking stacked bar chart as you can see up here it nicely places the label next to it um, and if I zoom in you can actually see the nice compound bar chart with proportions and location now there's a lot more that you can actually do with uh, ggplot and especially with uh, uh, bar pl plots so I have here a link to someone's uh, great tutorial on actually how to manipulate this perhaps even further. I hope you found this video helpful. 